It's day three of MLS Adidas Player Combine here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's a quiet day by most measures. The players were in a recovery session after playing matches on day two. Some of them were mingling about the hotel lobby, however, meeting with coaches. It was an optional day for interviews. The general managers and presidents of clubs, they were in technical staff meetings all day long. Uh, some of them even meeting with the commissioner, Don Garber. So a lot going on behind the scenes. And while that happened, we had a chance to catch up with one of Toronto FC's partners, advanced metrics software provider, ProZone, here's what they have to say about the, some of the things they use to help analyze players. ProZone, a little bit of background. I mean, we're established in the UK. Uh, that's our you know, mothership, so to speak. Uh, been around since 98. Uh, and we've really been uh, pioneering the use of uh, performance analytics, uh, data and video and soccer for, for that time. And ProZone has an interesting Toronto FC connection. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, um, Toronto were, were, were the first uh, MLS team, and actually uh, the first, I think the first professional team in North America to actually uh, embrace the, the ProZone technology. Um, they have a, a system uh, called ProZone 3, uh, which is our, our Rolls Royce system, if you would, um, uh, a camera system which enables them to, to glean not only technical and tactical information uh, on the players, but also a physical aspect of it. Um, so, you know, after each home game, those cameras will, will film the different areas of the field and they will be the tracked and, and, and coded um, and to produce a, a 2D animation of the field. Uh, why, which it basically, it's a, a big brother type of, of situation where you can't hide from it. Um, some players love it, some players hate it. Um, but ultimately, it's about performance on the field and it provides some, you know, the, the best objective feedback, I think, that you can, you can get out there that's on market today. And earlier I saw you talking to one of the Toronto FC coaches, assistant coach uh, Jason Bent. Yep. What are some of the things you're showing him? Show me what you're showing him. Yeah, I mean, what, what we were talking with, with Jason, we did a little bit on, uh, you know, some of, the, uh, some of the college players, you know, so I mean, having a, a bit of a, a rundown of uh, some of the technical and tactical, um, you know, bit of positional play, things like that, on terms of, you know, how, you know, how certain players can, can be a benefit to, to Toronto FC. Um, looking at some of the key benchmarks that we've maybe established that we want to get out of those players. So, you know, whether it's, you know, duels won or whether it's, um, you know, tackles won, uh, how they really stack up to what Toronto have already got, what they need, uh, and, you know, um, what we think they will do in the future. Uh, and that's where, you know, the databases that we have on all these college teams will uh, provide that. And hopefully, you know, you're always going to, um, you know, you're not going to be right all the time in terms of the players that you pick. But, you know, hopefully, you know, doing that research, um, you know, we can pull out the best possible fits for Toronto FC, you know, given, you know, what they, what, what, what they tell us and what they think they want for, for, for the club. Um, so it's, um, it's a two-way process. Uh, but, you know, our, our job is to, to really make sense of that data uh, uh, you know, for the guys at Toronto uh, and just help them make, you know, hopefully better informed decisions moving forward. So there's a look at some of what the coaches see after each and every match as they break down the game and the players within. Something that's especially useful here at the Combine with coaches studying past matches from this last college season. Now the Combine returns on day four with two more matches. As always, we'll have all the coverage on our Twitter account, at Toronto FC, as well as right here on Toronto FC TV. I'm Asif Hossein, and we'll see you soon.